Hello, Internet. My name is Mark. I'm a computer science and psychology slash linguistics student at NYU, and uh, I'm trying to make music this month. I've been trying to get into game design recently, and I know how to program. Uh, I've been learning Unity. I know how to model in 3D. The only way to improve drawing is to draw more, and my weak spot is music creation. I told myself I'd make a small track every day this month. So far, I've been using a program called Boscaskio. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And, uh, well, to say the least, I've been coming up with some pretty crap stuff. <laughs> Obviously, it is limited, though. It's a free program. Again, I love it. I think it's got a great purpose. But I do want to make a little, some more complex stuff. So this is what I made on May 1st. <laughs> it took me, like, maybe 30 minutes. It's fun, but... Yeah, my music background is not very extensive. I've been playing piano for several years and I've been trying to teach myself the guitar fairly recently. So I know how music works. This is my second track. The, that's an ocarina, which does nothing. I don't know. It, I <laughs> like Like this deep sound. My main gripe, my main problem with this program right now is the big picture is a little difficult to work with. Now, I know not every program is going to is going to, you know, have a broad sort of perspective. It's limited in the amount of tuning you can do per instrument. Uh, I like the larger track view. I will definitely come back to this program for smaller tunes, but I used a little bit of Ableton Live in high school. I was at an IT help desk block and I've done a little bit of Ableton Live. And I have a video pulled up that's an hour and 19 minutes and 55 seconds long from Beat Academy, if you're interested. And I'm going to watch it and just get a layout of Ableton Live. And that's what I'm going to make today's track in. It's 6.23 p.m. I had a wax sleep schedule this morning. And yeah, I just want to preface this by saying that's where I'm at with music creation. Main, main thing is to make a game. But uh, at this point... I'm just making some, want to make some small tracks. But without further ado, let's get right into Able. So uh, <laughs> I'm like 10 minutes away from finishing the video. Um, but what I've loved about this stuff is that like, like it happened with Premiere, with Blender. Originally, you look at this stuff and it's just total gibberish. But now I know like what all the stuff over here means, what all this means. And originally, when I did this in high school and messed around with it ever so slightly, I didn't understand like why there are multiple things here. We had a mini device, so I didn't even know this entire window was editable. I know what warping does now. You can't do it with this because this is my own thing, but this is really awkward, isn't it? And then there's, there's, this is, wait, what view is this again? It's, it's the original thing. This is, this is what I've been missing out this whole time, but I've, what I've been needing. Again, delete, delete. Ooh. Like that clapping thing. Sounds like a good clapping thing, a promising clapping thing. Yeah, I like I like that crunch. All right, and then let's find I don't know something something good. Right. I now understand how this sort of works. If I go to this view, yeah, I can, I believe it's right click automation. It's not there. How do I not play this? Okay. Bring this in. I should be able to manipulate this bad boy. Huh. Oh, that's why. Yay. Okay. I can actually hear this one. <laughs> why am I in bar 48? Oh, god dang it. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I had to hit the play button. Uh, D major. I think this is D major. Yeah. Okay, if I bring this here, will this? Oh yeah, of course. Hey, oh, no, oh, no. 
length. Let's make this four bars. Yes! Okay, awesome. It all just, it makes sense. Now this is gonna sound so bad with the drums. <laughs> It's so dumb. <laughs> um, you know, I was watching the video, and as someone who's been playing the piano for 10 or 11 years, I didn't connect this with the fact that it was a piano. I don't, I thought it was a, the, uh, never mind. Do a four chord. I don't sing, by the way, so don't. So, please don't be offended by my... Likely mis mistoning when I hum the notes. I want this to last for two. And then I'm gonna. Ah, no, I would not want that. God, I wish I had a piano. <laughs> not the worst thing in the world, but like. Alright, if we do both. That's whack. Okay, hang on. Uh, I like that. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like that a lot. And, oh, this is so... This, just being able to switch back and forth and not having to, you know. It's, again, it's a... It's a production program so i can't i literally can't compare boss Gaskiel with this but anyway i don't know what it is with me and flutes like with yesterday's track this this flute it's boss Gaskiel is very retro it's it's all midi clips you can't adjust the pitch and, or you can you kind of can you can you can you can you can i literally just stalled <laughs> wrote a violin where you at And then I'll do the four chord. I don't know what I'm doing. But from the top. <laughs> Let me do that. My bad, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, bro. Like, I don't have a melody. I have, like, kind of a beat. It's, it's not following any conventions. I'm aware of this. In the event this video gets out there, please don't try to roast me or anything. I get it. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Like, I know... I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. If that makes sense. It doesn't. But you get me. It only records one of them. That oh, I need to... Sorry for the sirens. By the way, that is New York City. At your service. Alright. Let's see how my masterpiece is played out. <laughs> It didn't do anything. Why didn't it? What, why is there nothing here? I don't understand. What's happening? No, I'm just. That's not. Well, that's pointless. And I'm. I'm just gonna end with. I just want to turn this down a little bit. Just a little bit. Perhaps I just have to change it here. And I hope by the end of this month, I can be doing a lot more than just placing notes down. It's kind of cool. I like the whole idea of having a free trial but no exporting. I think that's great. It gives you like more or less full access to the program itself. Um, because I mean I don't know. The reason why I want to save these again is because I want to keep track of what I'm doing this month and just see how far I've gotten from day one to now day five or day four. And you know maybe like originally if I wasn't doing this for like a month thing I would just make something and then let it go to like waste. That's my original plan, but I want again, track my progress, so. All right, so that exported pretty well. Um, pretty much all said at this point. Thank you for watching this video. I, I never in my life thought I'd ever say the following sentence. I will have a link to my SoundCloud in the description. Um, this month of the tracks I'll be uploading, um, I just have a playlist there. Because by the time this video will out, I'll, I should have Sunday, day five maybe day six depending on when i edit this video I should edit it tonight anyway uh, my semester's coming to and finals are coming up so this might take a hit but um i don't know i think i think it's a good way to just use time to say okay i'm gonna use this month to focus on this because if you do too many things if you try to learn so many things at once you're gonna have really slow progress it's 
breadth versus depth. I could go on and on about. I'll have a vlog video next Monday probably. Um, but I just didn't have one this week, and I figured I'd record me learning how to make music. I think what I'm going to do now, I'll make another video, one of these videos at the end of the month just to see, you know, how far I've gotten looking back on things. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I just rambled a little bit. Um, let me know if you want to see more, what, you know, any challenges or whatever I do in the future. Um, but without further ado, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.